Hello Youtubers, I'm Parways and this is our first video in uh, Django 2.1 Learn Django 2.1 uh, In this video we're going to have a simple introduction to Django framework and also how you can install Django and also uh, I'm going to show you how you can create your first project in Django So, first of all what is Django? Uh, Django framework was started in 2003 as a project by Adrian and Simon Willison and in 2005 the first public version of Django was released uh, and now Django framework operates under uh, the guidance uh, under the guidance of Django Software Foundation or DSF uh, the framework core has over 1000 contributors with uh, more than 15 release versions and uh, there are over 3000 packages uh, specifically designed to work with the Django framework and uh, Django framework is a model view controller or MVC and it is a server-side framework that uh, operates with relational databases and also we can use Django with uh, non-relational databases via third-party packages uh, this is the official website of Django and you can see the latest version of Django is 2.1 and also uh, we have uh, Django there are a good documentation for Django uh, you can use for from the uh, Django documentation uh, so uh, now uh, I'm using PyCharm ID uh, for this uh, video series and uh, the important issue is this that uh, you can use virtual environment but I'm not using any virtual environment uh, so uh, uh, the, I'm using uh, PyCharm Community Edition you can download from JetBrain website uh, it's uh, also you can use uh, Sublime Text there is no problem but for this I'm using uh, uh, PyCharm uh, you can see that uh, PyCharm has a good terminal uh, and you can see this is the terminal of PyCharm you can click on this and uh, we have a good terminal because Django uses some command line uh, so we need to a terminal uh, I'm using PyCharm terminal uh, like this okay uh, now uh, for creating of your first project uh, uh, okay before this you need to install Django for installing Django uh, you can simply uh, write uh, pep uh, and install uh, Django uh, I have already installed Django so I'm not installing again and it will install the latest version of Django so uh, now I'm going to create my first uh, project and uh, in PyCharm terminal uh, you can I have created a new uh, project uh, for creating a project in PyCharm you can click on file a uh, new project and you can change uh, the name of the project in here so now <coughs> Uh, you can simply write uh, Django uh, Django dash admin uh, start project okay Django dash admin start project and now uh, you can add your project name for example I'm going to uh, give my project name uh, at name of my project okay and after that hit enter now it will create our project uh, if you receive some errors for example that uh, Django dash admin uh, does not recognize as an internal or external comment uh, you need to add the scripts path variable to your uh, uh, environmental variable so now uh, it created successfully our project now I'm going to open uh, you can see that in here uh, if I load this yeah, you can see my project and uh, I have a bunch of files in here and let me uh, introduce these uh, the first one is uh, this is manage.py so what is this uh, if I open this and uh, now let me bring the terminal in here because I don't need also you can for example if you want to make it uh, uh, split window you can window mode yeah you can see now I have a, a, 
another terminal now I'm going to minimize this this is manage.py we have we have init.py settings.py urls.py wsgi.py so uh, this manage.py runs project specific tasks uh, uh, let me show you first of all uh, in the terminal uh, uh, let me in here uh, right now we have created our project uh, you can see that this is our project before introducing uh, these files let me run my server uh, it is a development server that's built in in Django and I will show you that it's working or not uh, so before this uh, and in here I'm going to let me minimize this uh, because I want to like this okay uh, now uh, I want to uh, change directory to my project uh, CD my uh, project yeah okay now after this I'm going to run uh, uh, Python manage dot pi Uh, python manage.py uh, run server now it's create it's going to create our uh, development server it is built in uh, Django uh, yeah you can see now starting development server at this now I'm going to just copy this uh, URL and paste it in my browser and let me paste it and now it is uh, yeah now you can see the install worked successfully congratulations uh, Django this is 2.1 version so now after this now I'm going to introduce these files uh, the manage.py uh, uh, you can see that uh, in here uh, I have a write uh, for running my server uh, I have a write uh, in here python manage.py run server so manage.py uh, runs project specific tas tasks uh, just as Django-admin is used to execute uh, system-wide Django tasks manage.py is used to execute project specific tasks for example uh, if you're going to run your server you can use manage.py uh, and if you're going to uh, for example create apps right now you don't have an idea about apps but I will uh, uh, describe apps in the further videos so like this you can use from from manage.py uh, after this uh, we have init.py uh, this is blank uh, and it dot, dot by it allows Python package to be imported uh, from directories and this in it dot by is not a Django specific it is not in Django uh, it is a generic file used in all Python applications okay so after this <coughs> we have a settings dot by and this is so important file uh, because uh, setting dot by contains the configuration settings for the Django project all kind of configuration is in the setting that way for example our when we're we are going to create our apps we need to add our apps in the installed apps also uh, and here we have middlewares uh, where we have uh, some middlewares and also we have templates and the important important section we have databases uh, you can add your databases and setting settings dot by uh, by default Django uses SQLite 3 but you can change this for example if you're using uh, MySQL uh, you can change this to MySQL uh, for right now uh, I will leave it uh, default uh, but I will show you in the further videos that how you can use SQLite uh, MySQL and other databases also we have uh, urls.py uh, this urls.py uh, we will see further in the more vi and other videos but uh, for simple it contains URL patterns for the Django project also we have uh, wsgi.py uh, it contains wsgi configuration properties for the Django project 
uh, WSGI as uh, the recommended approach to deploy Django application on production. So this was our first video on Django. And before this, uh, let me just uh, uh, in here you can see that uh, it, uh, it's telling me telling me that you have 15 unapplied migrations. So for this, you can simply in here uh, uh, let me create a new terminal. I I don't want to close this. And PyCharm, you can simply uh, right click in here and create new session. Okay. Now in here uh, again, I'm going to uh, CD uh, my project and in here you can Python uh, let me bring it in here make it bigger Python uh, manage dot pi migrate and it will migrate and the warning will be removed from here okay now it's completed and uh, this was our first video and uh, we have successfully created our Django first Django project and if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel